This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, in a one centimeter to 20 centimeter scale model of an office building, a conference room is 44.5 centimeters long. What is the actual length of the conference room to the nearest hundredth of a meter? So in order to solve this one, we're gonna use a proportion to get started. More specifically, I'm gonna fill in the left-hand side of the proportion using this scale here says one centimeter in the model corresponds to 20 centimeters in the actual office building. Uh, we know that the conference room on the scale model is 44.5 centimeters long, and we wanna know its actual length, which is unknown, so we'll call that X. You solve proportions via cross multiplication. One times X is X. This is equal to 20 times 44.5. All right, I'm gonna have to work this off to the side because we have a decimal here. So this is 44.5 times 20. Uh, we have to move the decimal in 44.5 one time to the right, such that this becomes 445 times 20, albeit with one decimal to move back into the left when we're done. Uh, zero times five is zero, four times zero is zero, four times zero is zero. Before we start multiplication with this two, we have to bring in a zero placeholder. Two times five is gonna be 10, so bring down a zero, carry a one. Four times two is eight, plus one is nine. Four times two is eight, let's add this up. This is zero, zero, nine, eight. Bring in our one decimal. We can see that the length of the conference room is 890 centimeters. That said, this problem throws a little bit of a wrench into things because it wants to know the length of the conference room to the nearest meter. So we have to convert 890 centimeters to be in terms of meters. For that reason, you have to know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So we're gonna take 890 and divide it by 100 to convert the centimeters to be in terms of meters. Cross out these corresponding zeros. This becomes 89 divided by 10. Again, this is very easy to do mentally. All you have to do is take the decimal in 89. And since we're dividing by a power of 10 with one zero, we're just gonna shift it one time to the left. So this becomes 8.9 meters. So the answer to this one is B. Uh, the length of the actual conference room is gonna be 8.9 meters.